What's up guys? This is what we're dealing with today in Remnant from the Ashes. Let's go! happening guys so in my attempts to farm a little more for the final boss i discovered a boss that i did not defeat earlier in the game the root horror or horror i guess not the horror we already know Give me a little area here. Tiny bit of range, but not a ton. All right, there we go. We took out the root horror. Whoa. So. All right, we're going to get rid of infected by being cheap. They took out my boy here, though. It's like living, too. Look at this. I think that's my fault from not killing this thing earlier. What did I get from killing him? He didn't even give me a special item. He gave me a new trait though, Guardian's Blessing. Melee damage reduction, oh that's huge. That's really big actually, reducing melee damage taken is huge. Well, I'm a level 19 executioner now. I mean, I'm critting all the time. really quick with the rifle too actually <coughs> whoa it's over all right let's see it let's go i feel good about this attempt i feel like i've been playing a little bit better what do we got in front of me some hanging bullets i'll take them So garbage.
Alright, that was the best I've ever done right there. Without a doubt. This is an ammo box. Best attempt yet. Let's go, guys. Okay. Pop one of these. Let's get this thing pop. Potentially one more attempt on him. Potentially one more. Okay, back in the nightmare. Let's go, guys. All my fucking shots. Come on. Oh, my God. Nice! That's a lot of treats, baby! Let's go! That was gratifying, man. Dreamer's Mana. You gotta run, boy! You better run!
You know, uh, thinking back on that fight, that was a lot to figure out in one fight, but once you figured it out, it wasn't that bad. You, you, you just don't kill the strong guys in the nightmare and you keep yourself re relatively topped off. You kill the small guys, run around in circles until it gets crazy, and then you bounce out. And then you just hit damage the boss as much as possible. Uh, we got the Resident Evil 4. Exit. Find the boat. Jet ski out of there. Our guy's like, I just saved the world. I am out of here. I am covered in bones. Our guy's literally covered in bones. Sweet. That was a really intense fight, I have to admit. It was tough. Gunfire Games, running it from the ashes. Okay, we're not going to read all these. Um, let's see what New Game Plus has to offer us. I think you go to the following difficulty, right? You, this auto throws us on, like, Nightmare or something. I would expect it to, at least. I think I would like to play as a sniper class. I haven't played a game where you just snip people the whole time in a long time. The the bit my biggest issue with this game is the dead zone. I the fact that the dead zone is so big really it it, it makes it aiming for me. It makes aiming unenjoyable. Um, I think I said this before. Aiming, like if you move your joystick, like this is the joystick. The dead zone is how far from the center do I have to move this for this to actually register um, any movement. So if I come like about... The dead zone's almost 0.4. It's like 0.4, I think, which is way too high. Uh, so the dead zone is 0 to 1. 1 being maximum full movement. 0 being dead. It's not being moved at all. I think it's about 40% of the way before you even move the cursor at all. And... I like to aim subtly. I, I move the, the joystick a very finite amount, and it doesn't move, and it drives me insane. And it hasn't. It has uh, annoyed me this entire playthrough. I feel like it's a lot of my misses have been because of this dead zone just being so terrible. Um, who are we talking to? I'm assuming we're talking to Ford now. Let's see the stuff we got first. We got the Orb of Undoing. You want to redefine yourself? Oh, resets all spent trait points. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I had to redo this game, say I played this on Nightmare going forward and I could redo all my traits, I would just go into max level crit chance. That was cool. I would uh, just throw it all into Elder Knowledge and Scavenger just so I could get all the scrap in the game and all the experience so I could just get everything else jacked up as fast as possible. And then I'd definitely re-go into Glutton, and then Weapon Reload speeds big, and so is Health. I think those are the core four. Everything after that is kind of like, oh, that's nice, but you don't need it imme immediately. Um, material, Dreamer's Mana, uh, valuable resource used to forge a powerful weapon. And then did we get like any like straight up guns or anything? Thought we got like something from them. I'm not actually sure. Okay, screw it. Let's go talk to Ford. And well, first I want to see what this weapon is that we what can now? possibly craft. Fine. Let's the have repulsor. A oh, that's pretty cool. Rounds per second. Wait, is this a shotgun? I've got work to do. Let's see, let's see what the repulsor does. Uh oh, this is sweet.
<laughs> yeah, this thing is pretty tight. I like this. What does this need? Just luminite.